Hello everyone, welcome to Lesson 6, Defining and Determining the Role of Chebors. Last week, we covered the topic of industrial policy in South Korea. Some of the key concepts we visited were the developmental state, heavy and chemical industrialization, and strategic industries. Much of the discussion last week focused on the role of the state. Starting from this week, we shift our focus to the private sector and take a closer look at the Korean Chebors. The Korean Chebor not only played a critical role in Korean economic development, but it continues to play a huge role in shaping Korea's economic landscape. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Korean Chebors such as Samsung, Hyundai, and LG. These Chebors have gained an increasing international presence in the last decade, and many of you are already probably consumers of Samsung and LG cell phones, TVs, refrigerators, and most likely Hyundai cars. In today's lesson, we cover three main topics. First, we spend some time defining the concept of Chebor. Second, we look at the structure and characteristics of Chebor. And third, we look at the role of Chebor in the Korean economic development. First, let's spend some time defining the concept of Chebor. Chebors are unique to Korea, although similar forms of business groups exist elsewhere, such as the Japanese Keiretsu. The reading materials for this course will highlight the similarities and differences between the Korean Chebors and the Japanese Keiretsus. In this course, we define Chebor as business groups consisting of legally independent entities that are highly diversified and managed by family members or relatives. After defining the Chebor, we proceed to look at the structure and characteristics. Although the lecture notes cover all the structures and characteristics in detail, I will highlight five main traits associated with Chebors. First, Chebors have a highly diversified business operation structure. It is common for Chebors to engage in multiple operations and engage in different industries such as automobile, consumer electronics, insurance, financial services, and even construction. Second, Chebors are owned and managed by family members or close relatives. Third, Chebors are highly dependent on external sources of funds. And fourth, Chebors continue to maintain very close relationships with the government. Last week, when you were discussing industrial policy um, of South Korea, I'm sure you've studied how the interventionist economic policies that the Korean government pursued. And these industrial policies were oftentimes uh, pursued in conjunction with Chebor's efforts. Fifth, Chebor's have highly centralized decision-making processes. Decision-making comes from the top down. The Korean Chebor's continue to maintain a very monopolistic position in the Korean market. Please take note of these five traits as you go through the lecture notes and reading materials. The final topic we cover in this week's lesson is the role of the Chebor in the Korean economic development. The role of the Chebor is easier to understand when you think back to last week's lecture materials on Korean's industrial policy. The Korean government under Park Chung-hee actively utilized and promoted Chebors in the process of industrializing the Korean economy. By the end of this lesson, you should have a fairly good idea of the key traits and structures associated with Chebors and the role of the Chebors in the Korean economic development. You should also have a good grasp of the following key words, Chebor, business group, conglomerates, diversification, and family ownership. Now, these first three words, Chebor, business group, and conglomerates may seem very similar to you, but in fact, they are very different. And what makes differentiates Chebor from the rest of these terms are these two key traits, diversification and family ownership. 
I hope you use these keywords as your benchmark as you're going through the, this lesson's materials. Next week, we will take a closer look at the organization and work culture of the Korean Chebors. I hope this week's lesson gives you a better understanding of the key traits associated with the Korean Chebors. Thank you.